I start getting this, you know, I, I know your address, I'm going to kill you, uh, you're not going to live very long, stuff like that. Holy hell. And I'm old school. I'm old school, man. You want to come at me, bro, let's, let's go. You know, uh, I, I'm, not, I'm not as quick and as fast as I used to be, uh, but if you've got something to say, say to me, say to me. And that's of the school I'm from. Um, uh, I didn't take it into account. Again, I'm from a, a family, a deep family of law enforcement. Uh, when they found out, <laughs> afterwards, I got a whole raft of grief. Because they were like, you know, Joe, in this day and age, you've got to take that stuff seriously. Um, I got uh, poop in my mailbox and smashed. Uh, uh, I had, and, and this is when this is when it started to take. This is when I started to take it seriously. When God bless him, my neighbor, because I allow him to park in front of my home on weekends. I had gone up to New York to cover a fight, and I allowed him to park in front of my house uh, that morning, that Saturday morning. And I'm thinking to myself, God forbid something happened. Was that Saturday morning? This is the Saturday morning uh, after the story. The story is the story is posted on the 21st of January. I think, I think this is the 26th. January 2019, I get a knock on my door at like 9.30 in the morning, Saturday morning, and there's five cops there. On my step, I'm like, Jesus, God, I thought like, one of my cousins or, or my brother, God forbid, something, something happened to them. They're all cops. And then they told me, they said, you know, listen, your neighbor got a brick for his windshield because we think it wasn't aimed at him. We think it was aimed at you. Wow. Man, that's and, fucking and crazy. That's when it got, that's, when, that's when it got real. That's when I showed them the tweets. Yeah. That's when I noticed, like that night, that night someone razor plate at my door, my back door, which has since been replaced. I had to get an old, I have an old back door. I needed to get it replaced anyway. Uh, <laughs> and, and Joe, just out of curiosity, when, the, when, this, when this stuff started happening, did you go back to the Eagles at all and be like, hey, what the hell? <laughs> or I know it's not their I, fault, I, but yeah, like, it's I, not, I, but, but I mean, like, is it, are you going like, what 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 is what did what what's going through your mind as this is all showing up at your doorstep? Well, I I, I got a scolding from local law enforcement who I'm very very close to. I mean, I've known these guys, two of which I at one time covered in high school. So I have a, a close relationship with a number of these guys. I got an earful from them, justifiably so. So you should have said something to us. And again, like I said, I'm old school. So I'm thinking, oh, I don't have to say anything. If someone's going to confront me, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to deal with it, but I'm going to deal with it. That kind of, by the way, I found that interesting. No one ever confronted me. No one ever physically came up and confronted me about mm -hmm. anything. You know, there was a lot of yap, 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 but no one ever did. And not that I'm looking for a fight. I'm the last guy in the world that was going to look for a fight. I deal with fights, I cover fights, that's fine. Let those guys do their fighting. I'll cover them. Um, but, um, I, I, I didn't, um, like I said, another thing I learned from the whole process is that when someone, Captain Dumbass, when someone threatens your life, whether it be through Twitter or text messaging, you better let the authorities know. And, and that's what happened. The authorities were notified. I had showed them, uh, I showed them the, uh, the messages that I was, that I was, that I was sent to me. And, and they were dealt with. There was, I think it was five guys that they caught. And it was probably the most expensive tweets, the most expensive direct messages they've ever put out in their lives. And I was never bothered by them again. Um, they never got the individual who put the book through my neighbor's windshield. Uh, I have a new security system in my home. And I needed a new mailbox anyway. Um, this is another funny thing. Um, I've had uh, our man Joe Conklin, which was really cool. Joe gave me a speech to his comic show that Wednesday, a few days after the Wednesday story had been posted. And uh, I get back home from Joe's uh, concert. Um, a comedy show, and that's when I like I open the front door to check my mail because uh, sometimes I'm I'm going for long periods of time, and I'm like, oh my god, it was awful, and uh, I, I noticed it was it was filled with bad poop. Um, so I go over and I'm I'm in a rage. I mean, I could have ran to the local CVS, and right now my chubby state, I can't. I'm, luck I'm lucky if I can move two feet, but I was in such a rage then that I could have ran to the CVS. I get my car, I go over to the CVS. I must have bought, I think, maybe 25 bottles of Glade. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sitting here with two bags of Glade, and, it, it, and the Glade's literally sitting in my passenger side seat. And I look down at the Glade, and I just started to laugh. And, and that's when, you know what, it just, it's just really not that big of a deal. I'm okay. I need a new mailbox. I needed a new mailbox anyway. 
Uh, I, I, I have the best smelling mailbox in three states still. <laughs> uh, I still have, believe it or not, I still have, I still have some of those bottles of Glade left. <laughs> and it was, um, it was, it, yeah, and, 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 and that's my regret. Uh, you know, guys, that, that Richard John, I, that I didn't have more fun with it. I'm, I'm the first person to laugh at myself. Uh, I mean, these guys were doing caricatures of me, and a lot of it was really funny. And a lot of it I would have liked to have turned around and said, yeah, this is great. But again, like I said, when, when the death threats came in, and the threats came in, uh, and the people trying to pass along, which I really didn't like, pass along my home address and things, or even the street that I live on, that set me off. And when that set me off, I started to block people. I mean, I, 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 have, I literally have thousands of people blocked on my Twitter account. Thousands. Yeah, yeah naturally. Maybe, or, by the way, boarding like maybe even tens of thousands. I'm, I'm serious. Yeah. I'm serious. I was in such a rage that I just went, you know what? And here's my thinking with that with social media. Oh, he blocked me, whatever, whatever. To me, you know what? It's a beautiful thing. You know what? You want to turn around, you want to bitch, you want to moan, you want to scream, fine. Good block, boom. I don't have to deal with you again. It's like one of those things from the, um, what's the, uh, 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 Bronx Tale. You know, for 20 bucks, she's out of your life. Okay, for two seconds, you, you got me aggravated. For two seconds, boom. That's about as long as it takes for me to block your ass. Boom, you're done. <laughs> yeah. So you got me for a second, but you're done. You're through. I don't have to deal with you again. 